This is Teresa Rupali. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will share you the second part of the steel and the timber structure on the worked examples. So follow me attentively. If you are new to my YouTube, my YouTube channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. And we have seen this in the previous parts, what the tension members are and what are, the, how can we calculate the design value of axial tension and the design tension resistance capacity of the cross section. So we are doing these formulas and uh, the net cross section for the parallels and the staggered ones and the angle connected by one legs and the design constants uh, that we have seen so in this video I will share you that how can we determine the tensile strength of the bar assuming by using this one so there is this one example one lab splice for two plates connected by two rows of parallel bolts. so a plate bar 200 millimeter wide and 25 millimeter thick is to be used as a tie erection consideration requ requires that the bar be constructed from two leg lengths connected together with a lap splice using 6 20 millimeter Diam diameter bolts as shown in the figure below this one six bolts with 20 millimeter diameter of the shank calculate the tensile strength of the bar assuming grade fe 430 that is uh, s275 steel so for this case we can calculate the tensile strength of the bar how can we calculate by using the formulas that I have mentioned in the previous video so if you are if you don't seen the previous video please go to the previous video and then come to this video second so follow me attentively I am going to the solving this problem step by step so and uh, the, the givens are this one the bar width is 200 millimeter the bar thickness 25 millimeter the bar thickness 25 millimeter and the diameter of the bolt shank 20 millimeter and the number of bolts there are six six and the number of rows are in two rows and the number of rows are in two and the ultimate strength of the steel is 430 newton per millimeter square or pascal kilopascal megapascal yeah megapascal yield strength of the steel 275 newton per millimeter square and the partial safety factor 1 is 1.1 and the partial safety factor 2 is 1.25 1.25 so the required is the tensile strength of the steel bar calculate the tensile strength of the steel bar this is the main question that we have also we are going to be asked on the final exam so please follow me attentively solution uh, so the as we have seen in the tables Hole clearance for this diameter for this bolt should be to 2 mm because it is 20 mm which is between 40 mm diameter and the 20, 22 mm diameter, 24 mm diameter. So we can add uh, to get the whole diameter, we, we can add 2 to 22 mm. So the gross area of the cross section equals to, to 200 times 25, uh, which is times thickness. So 5,000 millimeter square, and so when we are going to the solution part, so first we have to get the net area of the cross section. So when we see, so first we have to see the figure to find the area along this one, along this one, the net area along this one, and the gross area we have gotten our along this, and. And uh, the net area one, the net area one equals to the gross area minus summation of diameter of the hole times thickness. So, in in that row there is two hole. Five. This is the gross area, and this is this number is the number of holes in that row. This is the the hole diameter, and this is the thickness of the plate. So when you calculate this, the number gives this one. This is the net area of the cross section along this line AA and the B the design plastic resistance of the gross section the gross section equals to 
the design plastic resistance equals to area times area times the gross area times the yield strength of the steel divided to the partial shaft factor of one then 5000 times 275 over 1.1 equals to 1250 kilonewton this is the design plastic resistance of the steel and the design ultimate resistance of the net section at the bolt hole the, the design ultimate resistance this one equals to this is the formula we have seen on the previous video 0 0.9 times the effective area or the net area times the yield strength over the partial safety factor this means when we are what this is the factor to reduce the value by 10 percent so when we reduce 10 percent the remaining one is 90 percent so we are we are going to multiply this by 0 0.5 so 0 0.9 times 360 3900 sorry 3900 this is the net area times 430 the yield strength is and the 1.25 over 1 to 1.25 it is 1200 7.4 kN. So uh, the tensile strength is, is the tensile resistance is taken as the minimum of these two, the plastic one and the ultimate. So the minimum one is this. So the tensile resistance capacity of this plate is 1207.4 kN. So if you have question, on this example that is unclear please you can call me or contact me uh, with our social medias on telegram facebook or also voice call you can contact if you have question uh, please like and subscribe for more videos and uh, when we are going to the second part of this uh, video example to laplace splice lap splice for two plates connected by two rows of staggered bolts when the first example is about the straight parallel bolts in this example the numbers are the same but the bolts are staggered a plate bar 200 millimeter wide by 225 millimeter thick is to be used as a tie erection consideration required that the bar be constructed from two lengths connected together with a lap splice using six M20 bolt is as shown in the figure below. Calculate the tensile strength, strength of the bar, assuming the grade this or this grade. So, when we are when we see this, the bolts are not in straight line; they are staggered or in zigzag manner. So, uh, the failure modes are this one and this one. We can consider two failure modes, and this is the distance we are going to now. And these are also five at 90 millimeter. So the given one is the bar width is 200 millimeter and the bar thickness 25 millimeter. But the diameter of the bolt chunk 20 millimeter and the number of bolts. The number of bolts is six and the number of rows two and ultimate strength is 413. Yield strength of the steel 275. And this is the partial safety factors. And the tensile strength of the steel is the required one. So the whole clearance is 2 mm and the whole diameter should be 22 mm when we add 2 mm. And the gross area of cross section equals to the width times the thickness. So this one. And the net area of the cross section along line AA. So the gross, this is the formula, the gross area minus the this. So 5000 minus this is the number of bolts, the number of holes in that line uh, 25 is the thickness the whole diameter and this is the thickness it should give this and the nature of cross section along line a b that means along this one along this one so the formula is this one and when this is a gross area and this is the number of bolts and this this is it is one because the number the 
the line of zigzag, the number of zigzag lines are one. So when we calculate this, it gives this one. So, so the, the design plastic resistance of the gross section. So in this, uh, when we are calculating the design plastic resistance of the uh, steel, we are going to use the gross area. So the gross area is this one. So when we calculate this, it gives this one. And the design ultimate resistance of the net section at the bolt hole. This is the effective one, which is the minimum area from the net area net one and area net two. This is the minimum one, and this is the minimum one. And we calculate this; it gives this one. And the tensile resistance is taken the minimum of from this two the plastic one and the ultimate one so the minimum one is the plastic this one so uh, this is the tensile resistance capacity of the steel with the staggered voltage so this is this is about example two please like and subscribe for more videos so in the next part I will I am going to discuss about the in the next video I am going to discuss about the example four and the example five about the ten the tension members. So thank you for attention. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.